All it takes are some simple style tweaks and voila, your favorite summer staples are ready for fall. Hi ladies, it's Erin and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm sharing 10 super simple ways that you can get those summer clothes ready for fall. You wanna hear what they are? Okay, let's do it. Felt hat, tights, booties, tall boots, sneakers, brown or black bag, blazer, moto, trench, sweater. Hold on a minute. That was a little too fast. Let's rewind. Go back to the beginning. I'm going to take all 10 of those tips and weave them in throughout this video by sharing your favorite summer staples and showing you how to take those summer staples from summer to fall. So this is very similar to the video I did recently where we took a simple outfit that was fine and turn it into fab, except in this one, we're gonna show you from summer to fall. Are you ready? Okay, let's do it. For outfit number one, I wanted to start with the little white dress. This is a heavy hitter for summer. This is something I reach for again and again and again throughout the summer. So how can we take that LWD and make it fall ready? Here it is, this little white dress. This one is by Alexis. It's a cotton poplin mini dress. You guys might remember the green midi dress that I featured also by Alexis. It's the exact same dress, just one is midi and the other is mini. This dress, perfect for summer, paired it with some colorful wedge sandals. These are by Veronica Beard and a beautiful woven Bottega Veneta quilted bag. How do we take that from summer to fall? It is so simple and here's what you do. First, I want to add a hat. In this case, it is a felt hat by Rag and Bone. This is one that I got during the Nordstrom sale. I don't know if it's still available or not, but we'll put a link to it below in the description box. It's a beautiful beige tone and I love this color so much for fall and it's a beautiful transition color because it's still light and airy. So even though it's fall, it can still be for many of you just super hot, right? So this feels like fall, but it's not going to add tons and tons of heat to your look, but it's also just a beautiful neutral tone. So I added the hat. I swapped the sandals for a pair of Vince Camuto booties. These booties with that V in the front, it means you can't wear like regular socks. You have to either wear a no-show sock or no sock. I personally just wear no socks, okay? So that's worth noting. Also, I think it's great that these booties are in more of a skin leg lengthening tone because I'm pairing them with a dress. So you could go for a, a deeper brown, honey brown, dark brown, but I really love how this color blends into my skin tone. Next, I added a blazer. The blazer is a similar color tone to the hat. This one is by Reese and it's a bit oversized, which is a very big trend with blazers right now. The one I'm wearing right now by Bosch is also oversized. I think an oversized blazer would be a great piece to invest in this fall. You know, the oversized trend is just starting. Remember how I talked about with trends, if you catch it on the infancy or the beginning of the, of the trend, on the upswing of the curve, then you have years and years and years of wearing that. So this would be a great piece to invest in. I also added a beige clutch. As I mentioned in the beginning, a bag swap is, is a good way to transition from summer to fall. So you go from a white bag, for example, to a beige, honey brown, taupe, or black bag for fall. This combo, is a little bit country. You know, I do live in the country. I live in a town with 2,500 people. But if you want to edge it up a little bit, try the hat with a pair of jeans, a cool like tee or cami, and a jacket. And that's a really cool look. Okay, in contrast to the LWD or the little white dress for summer, we also wear a little black dress a lot of the time in the summer. I personally think a black dress in the summer is very sophisticated, very chic, and if it's not sweltering hot, it's a great option that can look really stylish and lovely. I wanted to show you the summer option of this BB Dakota Steve Madden dress that I did feature in our Nordstrom sale coverage. This is a mini dress with a cinch waist and an A-line skirt. I'm 5'4 for reference. It is a bit short on me even, so that's a consideration. I'd say if you're 5'6, six, 5'7, five, probably that's the cutoff for this dress. This is a dress I've been wearing since I got it in the, at the Nordstrom sale. I love it. I think it's just an easy kind of one and done piece to throw on. Here I have it paired with some Dolce Vita wooden platform sandals. These feel really fresh and fun to me, these sandals. I also love that they are skin toned, so it really elongates the legs. This is the summer outfit. 
Now, how do we make it ready for fall? Okay, all we do is we swap those sandals for some booties. In this case, I added tights. You don't have to add tights, but adding tights is a very simple way to take a dress from summer to fall. These are a silky dark gray tight, so they feel good on the skin and they feel silky and soft. I like that they're gray because it creates a little bit of contrast between the black booties and the black dress. On my feet, I'm wearing some Isabel Morant booties. These are very Western inspired, so I went all in with the Western on this look. <laughs> But don't worry, I'll show you another option in a second. Got the Western booties. I have a Western belt on. This is a big giant silver buckle. I love it. I love this belt. It's by Bosch. And then the bag, also by Bosch, again with the silver buckle, is very Western inspired. I talked about maybe it's two, three years ago when this started, the Western trend being very, very much of the moment. I don't see that slowing down. I think it's still going strong. I love Western attire, Western theme, or Western inspired. Here in Colorado, I feel like Texas and Colorado, it just feels like appropriate. <laughs> but you could wear it anywhere. Like if I lived in New York City, I'd still wear this. If you want something that's a little less Western, then you could simply do an elegant booty. These are some old sock booties I have by Stuart Weitzman. And then I swapped out the Bosch Western inspired belt for this utility belt by Elisabetta Franchi that I've showed you guys before. I bought this in Europe. I love this belt. Now let's talk about a printed, very summery dress. Your dresses that are dark floral prints, those will beautifully transition into fall. Dresses that have blacks and browns and beiges, all of those will transition beautifully into fall. They're a little bit easier. It is trickier to take like a big, bright, bold colored dress like this Saloni mini dress with long sleeves and make that feel more like fall. So what I did, here's the summer version. It's a Saloni floral print mini dress with some Mark Fisher strappy sandals. Again, you notice the theme there is in a very light beige, which is a skin tone for me. So it's leg lengthening, highlighting the legs, lengthening the legs. I swapped those out for some tall boots. These are by Veronica Beard suede with like a three inch heel and a pointed toe. And then I added an Elisabetta Franchi cardigan that's fuzzy and oversized and just so like yummy. But you could do a regular cardigan, you could do a longer duster cardigan. I would just make sure if you're gonna go with choosing a summer standout floral print in bright colors like this one, I would go with a cardigan that is like white or ivory or taupe or beige. It's gonna be hard to do this with a black cardigan. And then for the boots, I did wanna also try just some really fun shoots boots. These are white croc emboss boots, stiletto heel. And I thought that was just really fun. So these two looks give you some ideas of how you can take that summer floral print dress and turn it into more fall appropriate outfits. Now, full disclosure, it's much, much easier to go back to your little white dress or your black dress or something neutral solid and transform that into a fall outfit than it is to take those bright floral prints and turn them into a fall outfit. Another thing that I just wanted to mention again is that if you do have dresses that are dark florals like this, this is a Misa dress. This is already so fall, so you don't have to really go to any kind of extreme to make it feel more fall. The colors inherently make it feel more fall. This is an example by Misa. Here's another example. This one is by C, New York, S-E-A, and this is in black and brown and white. It's a very summery dress. It has like a summery cutout right here but this easily will transition into fall just because of the colors. Another summer favorite, at least for me, and I think it's a real basic, is a white summery top. So I wanted to show you this new top I got by Reese in the Nordstrom sale. It's an eyelet top. This one does have long sleeves, but it doesn't matter if, if your favorite white top is short sleeve, sleeveless, or long sleeve. You can do exactly the same thing. So just think about what white top you wear over and over and over again in the summer, and we're gonna take that and we're gonna make it more fall appropriate. So in this case, it's the white eyelet Reese top paired with some ammo shorts. Love these shorts, by the way. They are so, so comfortable and so cool and just great, easy throw on everyday shorts. Some C by Chloe sandals, again, more of a skin tone to like lengthen and a Prada triangle bag in raffia. So this is the summer version. Now let's make it ready for fall. All right. 
So what did we do here? We swapped the C by Chloe sandals for some booties, added a blazer, swapped the shorts for some jeans, and swapped out the Prada bag for a Celine belt bag in beige, so white for beige. And here again, these are the same booties I just showed you, the Vince Camuto booties. It's that same Reese blazer and the Celine belt bag. So those are very simple tweaks. Again, instant, simple, easy. Think about what you have in your closet already that can help you make these transitions, right? These transitional outfits. It really does boil back down to that list that I started with in the beginning. The hat, the tights, the booties, the tall boots, the sneakers, the brown or black bag, the blazer, the moto, the trench, the sweater. I wanted to show you this same fall outfit but add black instead of the brown or the beige. So I just swapped out those Vince Camuto booties for some black combat boots by Seabag Chloe and then a black YSL bag instead of the Celine bag. So it also, like the brown and the beige look so great together. And that's another easy fall look. So here you have the summer look, then you have the first fall look with the neutral tones, and then you have the second fall look with some black thrown into the mix. What's another heavy hitter? You wear it all the time in the summer. It is a white t-shirt, right? White t-shirt, I feel like you wear it all year round. But I wanna show you how to take your white t-shirt and easily transition it into fall. The summer version here is a white Nation LTD tee. You guys know I love my Nation LTD tees. They are an elevated basic. They're t-shirts, but they always have some interesting detail. In this case, it's a puff shoulder, it's a puff sleeve, a little bit of a gathered sleeve. I love the crew neck. It's a very breathable fabric and cotton, body skimming, but not too tight. Just an awesome tee. Pair that with some Paige Dark Wash flare jeans. These are amazing. I love how flattering and lovely these are. I've also talked about how the flare jean silhouette is kind of where we're heading with jeans. This is another one that if you haven't purchased a pair of flare jeans yet or a wider leg or a straight leg jean, this would be a great time to invest in a pair and then you'll wear them for a lot of years to come. I have on some black sandals. These are by Legends. They are surprisingly or even shockingly comfortable considering the shape of the shoe and the heel. I just can't believe how comfortable they are. And then a Valentino belt. This one is reversible and I just have it on the black side. So let's take this summer look and make it ready for fall. And here you have it. What did I do? I added a moto jacket. This one is by All Saints in black. I swapped those sandals for some black booties. Again, these are those Stuart Weitzman sock booties. And you have a very simple fall transitional combo. You could add a great scarf to this. You could add your hat back in. You know, you've got options. But if you just wanna keep it really simple, that is the very, very simple way to transition that tee into fall. Couple of other pieces I wanted to share that can easily transition clothing into fall, especially basics. A trench coat, this one's by Sam Edelman. It's mixed media, it has some olive green wool and then faux leather sleeves. And then some accents that are faux leather. I just love this trench coat. Another option might be a vest. This is an ivory sleeveless coat that I got during the Nordstrom sale that I think is so elegant and unexpected. This would be another piece that would be perfect for those of you that live in hotter climates. So you're like, oh my gosh, it's October, but it's still 80 degrees. Maybe not quite that hot, but you get the point. You could throw something like this vest on and feel like your outfit is more fall appropriate. Let's take one last look at the summer versus the fall. We started with the LWD little white dress, summer version, fall version. Went to the little black dress. Here's the summer version and the fall version. And we went to the printed summer dress. Here is the summer and fall. The heavy hitter for most of us during the summertime, the white top. Here's the summer and fall version. And then of course, the white tee. So the secret so taking your summer pieces and transitioning them into fall boils down to those 10 things that I shared in the beginning. The hat, the tights, the booties, the tall boots, the sneakers, the brown or black bag, the blazer, the moto jacket, the trench, or the sweater. Using those 10 pieces, you can transition almost any summer piece into the fall season. We will put links to anything we featured in the video as per usual in the description box below. If you like this video and you haven't already, I hope you hit that subscribe button. Maybe you could share our channel over on your Facebook page with your friends. That would be so wonderful and helpful. We would appreciate it so much. Help spread the word about our community of amazing women like you. I would really appreciate it. Also be sure to follow us over on Instagram 
at Busby Style there. Thank you, thank you so, so much for watching, for being here, for being you, for being the wonderful, fabulous, amazing you that you are. I appreciate each and every one of you, and I hope you have an amazing rest of your week. I'll see you next time. Bye.